let's see, I remember Fairfield that had more vibrancy, that had more commerce, business, um, and families. And not uh, as deteriorated over time. Just hopefully I don't pick up a nail driving through here. Well, you got all these overgrown yards and torn up houses and there are people still in these communities, but. I think what is such a powerful statement in this piece is when the pastor says, I want to do more weddings than funerals. You know, we are so succumbed to be numb to this type of violence that exists. And often than not, we find ourselves digging in as to why. Why is this happening? How can we change it? And here they dive into such idealisms of what it's like to be fatherless, what it's like to lose that sense of spirituality and hope and how the system can turn around and change that and influence and community so that they might not necessarily have the dark uh, outcomes that they seem to be facing during this time. It is such a systemic issue when it comes to our country as we dive into these things. And it's so interesting to see s such a small community such as Fairfax. I saw a lot of I saw a lot of Ferguson in this documentary, even though Ferguson isn't uh, mentioned. It's one of those things that that's where I emotionally connect it to. And seeing a community such as this um, be able to uh, come together in a spirituality setting was uh, an interesting take for us to see. I love the utilization of natural light and cinematography. Um, the beautiful cinematography and the uplift, uplifting music really helped to set the tone for Dion's incredible story. Um, and the moving interview with the pastor was also um, awesome to see and hear from him and how he is praying for more weddings and less funerals in this, this, um, in this environment um, and to see what he's doing to help um, and to pull people out of that was also really awesome. Lines that I liked. One was, you don't really know how people are watching you. And I think that's so true. Um, if you can just see, you know, from your own eyes, what you're seeing uh, as far as other people and how they're influencing your life for one way or another, even if it's for a brief moment, um, I think it's very powerful and it's true um brokenness on top of brokenness like how do you get out of that trap and that loop of brokenness um and it's by people like this who are willing to take the time and really um guide somebody into a better life helping them along the way um you know he talks about having no real male guidance growing up um but he chose to see education as a way out um I also wrote down drowning in a sea of hopelessness and you have dignity, value, and worth. I think, yeah, the point is that somebody can help you see that, but you also have to see it for yourself and take the take that path rather than another path. And I think it is vital to have the community um, and also, you know, the faith that things will get better. You just have to um, try to make better choices than even the generation before you and the people that raised you, um, or if you didn't have anybody raising you, um, you still have your choices and you still have freedom uh, to do that. Uh, I thought it was really great. And I think this would make a great series of videos to show in school. You can't help but feel the echo of how many people, young people especially, have had to go through sub such similar tumultuous experiences growing up without adequate resources, without adequate guardians. And it is extremely heartening to see uh, faith being applied here in a constructive way in a time when we can see it often applied in such destructive man manners, right? To judge and to reduce freedom. Here it is instilled and applied to open doors and opportunities 
so that someone can live a free and fulfilling life. The fellow Dion that we meet, who speaks to his background of poverty and coming from a broken family, and just uh, how grateful he is to basically be rescued uh, by his uh, pastorship of his church, um, enabling him to leave life on the streets and, and most probably becoming a member of a gang. Um, and just how fortunate he was that he could make that decision uh, for himself and finish school and be encouraged to go to college and how faith has worked in his life. That's mostly his message here and how he has freed himself from a life of pain um, to being productive and being cared for by people that are genuine and how that's taught him to care for himself and the people that he loves. Uh, just a nicely, nicely done documentary. These men are willing to change their community for the better. And it's something that should spread beyond their community. The importance of having strong male role models or female role models. They're really focused on that because a lot of kids are being raised without a strong male role model, which is important to a family unit, to raising good people, as they said. This was so moving, the fact that these men are willing to try and change the dynamic in their own community. They have lessons that could be taught everywhere. This is absolutely beautiful and amazing. I loved that it combined inspiring personal stories along with facts and research and just a generally very upbeat approach in, in the storytelling. I think it's really inspiring and, and it was a great documentary to watch.